What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome back to the channel. You might have just saw Horizon go live not long ago with update number 40. It is called Horizon Track Day. As you see on your screen, these are the four new cars we're going to get week after week after week after week. And yes, I know you saw for the spring season was a repeat car. Well, that's technically not the new car. I'll get to that in a brief bit. If you are new to the channel, you want to see more 4005 videos, shorts, streams, whatever the case may be, you know what you got to do. Subscribe to the channel for new, smash the like button, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, write a comment. Let me know what car you like the best. What car you're looking forward to seeing in this update. Anyway, so, first things first. Halo is coming back in Forza 2005. Oh, ho, ho, this is so awesome. There are event lab props that you can get to make your own Halo scene any way you want. There is a event lab called, I believe it was known as Warthog Rally. It is an event lab for the first week. And when I saw the preview on the stream, I'm like, wow. Okay, first of all, it's been since Horizon 4 that we had a showcase with Halo in it. This is going to be the most epic rally track featuring Halo we're going to see in this update. I cannot wait to play it. I cannot wait to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Anyway, 80 points, we get the number 92 Porsche RSR. And for 160 points, we get the exclusive Lotus 211. I had a heck of a hard time getting it before. It's going to be a huge, huge drill into to get to that car. But that's going to be a long shot. The 160 points, that's a long shot. I'll try my best. I can't make any promises, but I'll do what I can. Anyway, getting to the weekly cars that I need to discuss with you guys. Number one, summer, 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. That is located at the top left corner of your screen. The paint and stitching change together with the manufactured colors. So basically, if you pick black, gray, yellow, red, blue, whatever, the logo, like the GT3 RS emblem, will actually be inside the paint itself. Like, it'll be literally part of the paint itself. Plus, the stitching for the seats might actually change as well. That I'm really looking forward to seeing. Oh my goodness gracious, that is awesome. It comes with a 4.0 liter 6 cylinder engine that gives it 472 horsepower. It's loosely based on the 911 Turbo. If you know what the 911 Turbo is, you know exactly what car I'm talking about. Basically, I might as well say this whole entire series called Horizon Track Day is nothing but Porsche. Porsche after Porsche after Porsche after Porsche. Four of them. Coming to the autumn season. This is on the top right of your screen. 2023 Porsche 911 Rally E is inspired by the 1984 Porsche Dakar. And believe it or not, it comes with a spade. And it has a tent rack. It carries a 3.0 liter F6 from the 911 Carrera GTS. It also has 400 centimeter horsepower. It really makes for a really epic rally car. And I can't wait to unlock it and show you guys. This is going to be really, really awesome. For the winter season, 20 points gives us a 2023 Porsche 911 GT3R. It is based on the 911 Generation 992. And the GT3 class for 2024, 24-hour Le Mans, it's already qualified. This car is already qualified for that event. It carries a 4.2 liter six cylinder engine that gives it 565 horsepower. And this car is not cheap. This is only available through Porsche Motorsport North America. The engine has a five degree tilt. It has central weight and spring distribution. Getting back to that price tag. Listen to this. $567,210. No cap. This is possibly the most expensive Porsche to date. No cap. You better save your money for this kind of Porsche. It is going to be legit bonkers. I joke not. 
And then finally, this is the car I was talking about earlier when I said, when they showed that the car for the car of the week, the number 70 Porsche 735 from a previous update, that is not the car of the week. Oh no, I beg to differ. That is not the new car of the week. Actually, the new car of the week can be unlocked a little bit differently for this particular week. If you complete this seasonal championship, which you gotta go to the right in the menu a bit, the seasonal championship is called 50 Years of Porsche 911 Turbo. Complete the seasonal championship. If you have the most amount of points at the end of the championship, or you win all the races, there's usually like what, three in the championship, usually? Then you get the bottom right car. 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S. You see the theme here? They're all 2023s and they're all Porsche for Horizon Track Day, which is going to be available on November 7th, this coming Thursday. Most likely we'll be able to get the update available to us on either Monday or Tuesday, the 4th or the 5th. It will be playable on the 7th, where we can get the first car I mentioned earlier in this video. It has a 3.7 liter flat six that gives it 650 horsepower, zero to 60 in less than three seconds. And get this, this is the best part of the entire car. It's all wheel drive. And here's the other cool thing. This car goes so fast it goes 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. Yeah. It has that much of speed. It's way crazy. I can't wait to unlock this. I can't wait to show you guys and tune it. I can't wait to unlock any of these guys. And just do a video of them week after week. Literally. Cannot wait. Until Thursday, November 7th. When we can finally play this update. It's been already almost 3 whole years of Forza Horizon 5. And they're not finished yet. They got plenty more to go. They got way more to go. They're nowhere near complete with this game yet. We got about maybe two, maybe three more years of content, of live streams, of cars, of customizations, of everything. There's more to come. So, don't say that this game's over yet, because it isn't. It's nowhere near finished, I can, I can tell you right now. The preview for Update 41, which will come out December 5th, 2024, is called Horizon Holidays Mix-Up. <laughs> Hard to believe the holidays are coming out soon. That means cold weather, bundling up, hot chocolate, you name it. It's, it's, it's going to be maybe, maybe, because we haven't seen it for a while. The only place we can see snow is at the top of the volcano. Everywhere else, bone dry. No snow, no nothing. Maybe we might see something. I'm hoping the developers will put something in Mexico itself versus just the top of the volcano and put snow up there and have, instead of it just be up there and have it like on the mainland itself. No matter where you go, there's snow on the sides. It'll make the roads slippery, just like we had in Horizon 4 with their winter seasons. Maybe one of these days, one of these holidays, I don't know if it'll be this year, but I'm hoping, maybe in 25, we don't know. But I think they're gonna keep it as having the snow up at that volcano spot. That I cannot confirm yet, but we will see. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys shared this video with your friends. Let me know in the comment section what car you're looking forward to. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. You guys let me know in the comments below what you personally want to see. Which car you're most interested in. The 23 Porsche 911 GT TRS. The 23 Porsche 911 Rally E. The 23 Porsche 911 GT TR. Or the 23 Porsche 911 Turbo S. Let me know in the comments which one you're looking forward to most. I have to do other things. I will see you guys. In the next video, whenever that may be, you stay awesome, y'all stay safe. Peace out. Bye.